This will probably be the only time I mention the Mags book some people have asked me my thoughts on. It really is a good way to wrap up Convoy season in America. You know, season one, the spinoff. Now moving on to what appears to be a 90 day fiance style show. Of course, the Canadian spinoff is also ramping up for their season two, it seems like. At least maybe a spinoff. We'll see how big it actually goes. I don't want to talk about the book contents itself, but the reactions I have seen from people that are involved in the book and why it makes sense to me they're having these reactions. The leader of the spinoff did the foreword to the book, which makes him appear supporting of the contents. Maybe he liked the way he was depicted. Maybe he actually hadn't read it and didn't know how the others would be depicted. He will have to say that himself at some point. Other members of Convoy Season 1 and spinoffs seem to be far less thrilled, except the depiction of the author, of course. I'm sure he likes the way he is depicted. Some are viewing it as personal attacks and misrepresentations. Maybe it is easier to make some look better by making others look worse in comparison. I'm sure we'll be getting a lot of responses about how people were depicted from those individuals themselves, either through chats or live streams. But you have to remember something. The man who wrote the foreword is now planning, by his own announcement and talking, he wants to become a member of the House of Representatives. Federal government. Looking good in a book about the convoy escapades lets him direct people to a friendly version of events where he tries to sell others on his leadership skills. Possibly, if fundraising is good, he can even do what many politicians decide to do, which is buy books that make them look good to give away at events as promotion, and then you can brag about how many of the book have been sold. That's how a lot of New York Times bestsellers happen, by the way. You should look into that. That's why book listing and numbers really don't make sense most of the time. Now, I'm not saying it will happen in this particular case or with this particular book, but it's a really common strategy. Now, why would the author release a book like this at all? Well, it gives you something to do. Um, but also, if I'm remembering right, even free Kindle reading pays per page. Um, and that can add up if a few hundred people are doing it. Maybe a few hundred are interested in this. I don't know. Um, some people really don't want to admit that season two of the American Convoy, uh, at least with the same characters, probably isn't going to be happening. Um, so I'm holding on to faith, but I think this book finally closes that chapter. Um, I think this book is probably going to sour a lot of people in the convoy sphere to the people involved, like that were involved in the foreword and were involved in releasing the book. I feel like that's going to happen, but I don't think they probably care too too much especially since both seem to be moving on to or at least trying to move on to bigger things 